Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Sidepod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Today, I got a sneak peek of LeBron's path to greatness in NBA 2K14. I actually want to speak on it, give it my thoughts. Um, the first thing that you guys will see is that there is an option to go Heat Dynasty or Fantastic Journey. Basically, this is just like choosing a sneaker. <laughs> you're either going to choose Nike or you're going to choose Jordan. Well, the Heat Dynasty, LeBron can probably play in Miami for probably another seven years or six years, whatever the contract terms, or he can choose to go anywhere else in the league. Now, from what I understand in this mode, it is all future. It has nothing to do with his past. This is all a decision and what he's going to do for the future. Now, a lot of people probably not going to stay in Miami. They're probably going to try to go to different teams or, you know, see what they can mix up. But I only saw a few predetermined options. Now, I saw a lot of him going to the Knicks. Now, the thing about this is... Is that the only team that he can choose to go to? Can he choose to go to a different team? Is this something like create a legend? Or can he only go to the Knicks? Now, I saw a few things where it even said my homeboy Allen Iverson came back to the league and was on the 76ers and he had to try to stop him right here, solving the answer. Now, that right there, all in all, with Iverson retiring, I would love to see that one game. But this mode in general, I really... I really, I'm really not going to get into it. I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys the, the darn right truth. There's no reason for me to play this path to greatness mode when they probably still have modes like create a legend where I can put LeBron on the Sixers. Now, they do have options where he can become the new big three. Come on, the new big three. He's basically uh, going to New York. Uh, CP3 and Dwight Howard is joining him, which means Stoudemire, Carmelo Anthony, they're going. They're out of the picture. So I'm like, okay, cool beans. Now, this gameplay that I'm about to show you guys is not actually this game. Um, I actually cut this game out because it's not really much, you know, to it. Rondo is still on the team within, you know, year 2015. So, you know, I don't know what's up with his contract, what, what he did, but he's still on the squad. I'm actually going to be showing you guys a little bit of the starting lineup as well. But the thing is, you do have game goals in order, to, I guess, to move on either to the next goal or to get those little brownie points or VC. I'm really not totally sure. But you do see here that the Knicks won the chip <laughs> before he started out with the season. But look all of these people. You got um, Varejo, you got Rondo, you got Bradley, which is kind of cool. But you got my boy Gerald Green, you know what I'm saying, light-skinned LeBron with LeBron in New York. So that's a good little fantasy thing that you can dream up you know it's like something like building a my team but let's jump into the gameplay that i actually wanted to show you guys this right here ticks me off now you guys saw the full game between um ld2k and ronnie2k and you didn't see one leaning layup now right there did you see that spin move where the ball actually hit somebody's leg and you know it's just another no call so I think that that's still going to be in the game even when it happens to you when you're going up against a defender. But this exact play is what killed my whole vibe about NBA 2K14. Yes, I'm still going to get the game, but I'm so pissed off that this happened. Leaning, layup, cheese, ladies and gentlemen. You saw it here first. Yes, it's and it has to be in the game because my thing is, is IGN playing a build that's already, you know, past or are they playing the final product you know it's it's crazy because these guys making all these videos and stuff and you know it's all these news outlets and media and all of that and they didn't actually give us guys that went to 2k14 team up that play the game more than one time where we can actually break it down and also with that jump shot right there that was a, a made up play where Monte Ellis popped out at up top and he was supposed to shoot the jumper but he stood there waited for a defender and then shot a fade away from more than five feet away from the three-point line I'm trying to figure out what's going on here with 2k14 I don't know is this game gonna be cheese is it gonna be whack is it what is it gonna be you know I, I don't understand so you know I'm, I'm kind of torn up about it because you know we were kind of you know promised a few things you know and it seems like 
we're one step behind when it comes to this news when it comes to this nba 2k14 info and you guys know how i do my channel i'm always trying to stay on top of the news so if you want to see more subscribe like the video but this is ikc signing out and i'm gonna holla at y'all in the next video peace this is siri thank you for watching and be sure to like this video for more videos from this particular mode click more videos if you want to see more content from ikc click subscribe Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.